Hi everybody, welcome back to another VetDWix video and today we're going to be looking at two really interesting aspects of VetDWix. My new VetDWix garden pack which I'll be uh, selling on the website shortly and sharing with you. Also how I can use AI to make this look incredible in my renderings. So here you can see the new garden pack. It's a really nice collection of some symbols that will look really really great in your garden projects. Also some furniture as well and a couple of other things that I'll be adding in there. When you see my next videos, I'll be modeling up some pergolas for this garden too. So I'm gonna go ahead to begin with in Vectorworks and just create a couple of viewports as my starting process. So you can see that I've just got one sheet at the moment with a really nice image in. Let's click the update button just to render that full quality image. I'm just gonna do sort of checking into my background for my Renderworks background. And I'll go for something with a bit of cloud there. Okay, so let's just blow that up ever so slightly by adjusting the scale as well. So let's click update. Remember that Vectorworks does a nice little preview, but the full quality render comes when you do the update itself. Okay, fantastic. So what I'm gonna do next is basically export this image out of Vectorworks so that we can use AI technology externally to do dramatic enhancement. So I'm actually going to kind of export using a marquee and let's go for a fairly high level of quality and basically let's just go for it and click save. So we'll save this image where it needs to be. I'm just going to check my pixel dimensions and kind of round those up to say 3000. That's pretty good because using the AI technology I'll be able to upscale the image anyway which is very very cool. Okay so now I'm going to go over to my favorite enhancer that I use personally. This is called Krea. You may have seen that I've done this uh, with a few other videos as well. Now Krea is a really amazing um, system. It has a lot of options here. Basically the one that I really want to focus on today for you is just how we can just enhance the image. Okay, so here we are. We're just starting the process. I'm just gonna load in that PNG file that I just exported directly from Vectorworks. You can see it just takes a few seconds to upload into the enhancing software. And then what will happen is over the right side, we'll get some options. So the two things that we can do here, not only we are we can uh, look at the kind of prompt which it generates, which is a really nice aspect of the AI, but we can also adjust things like the AI strength, clarity and other things as well. Okay, so I'm just actually gonna paste in the prompt that it gave me and you can see it's actually done a pretty good job at basically reading what that image was all about. So that's actually quite fun in itself. And sometimes I use this back in Vectorworks with the AI visualizer to also create some fun images. Okay, so meanwhile, uh, using Krea, you can see that we're just in the queue at the moment and the video or the image rather is just up heating and enhancing. Now, I've been using this AI technology for a little while and the things that I find it's very, very good for are the things that actually CAD software is not as good for. Things like enhancing the people, the trees, the plants, the grass, skies, those kind of objects. And one thing I really like about Krea is it doesn't actually change the base image too much either. Um, so what I thought I'd do is just try the AI visualizer in Vectorworks to see how that works while I'm actually running the Krea. And don't forget that if you haven't tried the AI visualizer, check out some of my other videos on this subject. It is pretty astounding what it can do. Okay, so I think Krea is going to be ready now. So let's jump over to our browser. Here we go. So now we've got this very nice little slider that I can drag back and forward to look at the before and after. So when you look at the enhancement of the Krea image, you'll see that the people in particular and the plants and the grass, all these things are way more realistic. So now I can basically just download that image and let me show you the final couple of little tricks in VectorX that I think you'll absolutely love. So as I say, you can play around with those settings in Krea. But let's go ahead and just download the image. So a little button down in the corner there, just click on that and that will download your image perfectly as a PNG file. And then watch this, here's the little trick. We'll go back to Vectorworks and basically we'll drag and drop in the file from Krea that we've just generated. We'll kind of overlay it onto the Vectorworks image. Okay, so we're gonna import that as an image file. Let's go for my downloads, here's my high resolution image. And let's just bring this in. You can see it's pretty good quality. Let's just stretch this down and snap it to the page and overlay these two images. 
So with a bit of precision, we can get those completely overlaid, hopefully, so they're sort of right on top of each other. I think that's it. Just like stretch that image there. And let's just center it up as well. Good little tip here is to snap onto the center and just drop that and snap onto the page center. Fantastic. Okay, so here is our Crea image now overlaid in Vectorix. And I think you'll agree, this looks wonderful. So a final couple of tweaks I like to make in Vectorix are using the image effects button. Now this means that we can actually do things like enhance things like the contrast. Also, I really like the uh, soften edges feature here, which allows me just to soften the edges. Now a great little tip here is make sure you do this on the base image as well as the Crea image as well. So I've just cut the Crea image. I'm just softening the base render from Vectorix. And now I can paste the Crea image on top and you can see the two things overlaid. Sometimes I use this technique to create things like sketches and watercolors by introducing some opacity into the top image as well. But this means that um, I've got the create enhanced image. If the model changes significantly, I can just delete that create image and basically I've got the viewport underneath, which will update, of course. So I do hope you've enjoyed this quick video showing you how to do garden design using my new garden pack in Vectorix and enhance those wonderful images using Crea AI software. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I'll see you soon.